Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the UK series. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And as you can see, we've just got a train leaving the platform right now. And that is the train that's going to go pick up some grain, or whatever it is, from the farm station, which is not too far away. I should probably move that out of the way. There we go, which is not too far away, and bring it back here to the food processing plant in Carnforth. Now, that is what we did last time. In this particular video, again, no time lapse just due to time constraints, but that's also because I think that this, this build is going to, or this part of the build is going to be rather interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to try and continue uh, bolstering the food production and we're going to build more, uh, more lines into this from a couple of other farms, see what we can do and see if we can get uh, Bracknell, Carnforth and Macclesfield all supplied with some food in some way, shape or form. Now, it may not work out exactly as we want it to be, but we're going to see what we can do and what we can balance. So make sure you stay tuned to see some more food production going and uh, being built and some more, um, I suppose, some more food transportation uh, get underway. Okay, so I'm going to leave this playing and off camera one of the only things I've done is actually connected up this this particular route here. So now we've got an area where we could yeah, we could put a bunch of trees and stuff, but but we still have all of our farms and I think that this is fairly realistic. Now, what is probably also going to happen is from here we're probably going to have something cutting across uh, this way, maybe joining up somehow managing to get onto onto this eventually if we're going to be taking things towards Maxfield and then I will have to work out uh, where we're going to put a sort of a, a food one maybe out of here and then peel it off in this direction and have a station for freight or something like that so I haven't thought this this part uh, through just yet so we're going to just focus on this section so what do I need to do here well we've got food uh, toing and froing it is uh, maybe piling up a little bit more than than I'd like and how big is this particular train it is um, 57 meters and we have an 80 meter station so I am going to uh, change the train now it is going to be a little bit I suppose it's going to struggle a little but if I go ahead and edit this particular train go to cargo and start adding in maybe a few more of these I wish it was just a standard British one. Oh, British oil tank wagon. Lovely. Uh, let's just buy uh, one, two, three. There we go. It still says mediocre, 75 meters. That should help just a little bit more so that we can get uh, this this going toing and froing. So let's uh, fast forward that whilst we get other things planned. So the other station that I would like to set up today is this one here. I, I potentially like to also set up this one actually, now thinking about it. I think this one might be a good one to set up. Um, do you know what? Let's do let's do both of them if possible and then these can go to i i've noticed that i've been calling this atleyborough because i've just been reading it as it is it's Attleboro. i i've just been reading it as a uh, at lee because i i didn't see the second t so i thought it was a t l e borough so atleyborough it's not it's attleborough Attleborough is what, what it is and that is rather stupid of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say right the railway has purchased this particular section right here and then we could probably end up putting another farm just here as the railway goes out but we are going to say that the railway has purchased this section. So we have a small farm here and a railway station pretty much right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say well look you continue like that and then you you can probably end up doing something along 
Should we just make it go along along these lines like this? There. And then this is going to be all part of the railway. And then we can we can do whatever we want. So let's go ahead and stick a station in here. Now I'm just trying to figure out if there is any I need to find better stations. I, I really, really do need to find better stations. And we're going to start with an 80 meter station. Single platform. And look, nice and nice and easy. Easy to fit in here. Doesn't even cause any problems whatsoever. And I'll just uh, shove it in there. There we go. Simple. Simple, effective platform. Right, so now from here, uh, in fact, you know what? Uh, platform is it the same platform passenger no just platforms I'd really like to have these ground level platforms ground level cargo station this is what I would like to see two three that's 120 should we do 120? Should we do 160? Let's do 120. And then I need to find some tracks. And this is where things are going to be a little bit awkward. So we're just going to look for standard tracks with a speed of... Uh, sure, 20. This is, isn't going to go much faster than that. There we go. Now we have a ground level platform, which says Bracknell East. But okay. We'll also go ahead and smooth this out just a little so it just looks nice around the area that's that's quite good so you can just stick you can just stick things there ready to get sent sent off on their on their merry way that that is kind of what i would expect okay so now we're going to have to route this somehow up and over into here so what i'm thinking we are going to do is let's go to tracks let's pick a let's try and pick a 40 mile per hour tracks here and i'm going to start by by doing this and then where are we going we're going there so ideally what i would like to do is i'd like to run along here and then somehow twist it maybe if we get to the forest twist it in and then that could work because we will be cutting through this forest as opposed to people's farms and if possible if we stick maybe here we can create a couple more farms as we do that and cut across I think that might be the best way to do things so that is exactly what I'm going to do so I'm going to get this set up so I want to try my very best to stick along this border. So I think that is going to be ideal. There we go. Stick along the border. Now I, I really get, I've got to figure out how to do this better. But um, what I will do is if I were to do this, like that that allows me to then demolish it's supposed to be a tiny little piece here and I can never get to it there's a tiny piece in this and I'm not sure how to get to it so unfortunately that is going to have to happen it doesn't matter we'll just do this now we could run this pretty much alongside this but maybe raise it up as it should be that looks good let's go ahead and let's try and create a something like this there we go maybe then break that go straight through here no let's do that properly go straight through here okay and this is where we need to just be Try and be aware of a few things. So obviously we're going we're going downhill very slightly. 
I like the fact that this is a fairly straight railway, but I'm going to just twist it just a little to make it easy for me to not not shipped to make it easy for me to get through this like so I'll do that now I'm going to break this bit we end up with a railway crossing a level crossing here good that that's a that's a reasonable level crossing we'll go through there okay good so now all I need to do is I need to go ahead and not that Create things fairly close to this. Like that. There we go. And uh, I'll try and just join this up like so. Similarly here. Can we just do that? It's a bit close. Just a little bit close. I'd like to have a little bit more space there, maybe there. And I've been doing a, I've been doing some research as best as I can, and I found that there are, there are a lot of um, single track railways. So I've, I've been trying to, yeah, you know, we're, we're doing doing the right research, trying to get these single track railways correctly done. I've really messed this up, haven't I? What I should should have done, so I should not have done that. Should have done this. started learning a little bit more about geography as well just by um, playing GeoGuessr interestingly enough which I think is a fantastic title but uh, play, playing something like GeoGuessr particularly in the United Kingdom has given me a better idea of how things are laid out without being able to you know explore various areas uh, not just uh, due to the pandemic but also just work and life and everything like that you know it is difficult to to go and scale up and down the country constantly to to get accurate accurate um, understandings of of what's going on and how things are laid out so pictures and geoguess have really come in handy there we go that that looks quite um quite nice and I can actually see myself sticking another farm in about here there we go I could potentially put another farm in here but I, I mean I'm just trying to figure out whether this is such a good idea to you know, have a farm oh not, not that that's not right um, having a farm here whether sticking a small one in here is a good idea I mean it might be it might not be but we'll we will let's not focus on that just yet so there's another another railway so you can see that we have lots of railways now so we've got a railway down there so you could be you could be traveling along this railway and you might see a freight train out of well, you can just see a freight train out there look at that so you could see a freight train going off in the distance that way I think that's that's pretty uh, pretty awesome that you'll be able to do that now let's take a look at this one and try and figure out our exits from here now the exit from here should not be a, a problem really so we just downhill like this and then all we've got to do is twist it that way now what I could do is I could try and twist it that way already and create another farm here and try and break out of this essentially at this border which I think might work quite nicely for us I mean that that could be possible so obviously there's there's a lot of a lot of thought has to go into into this uh, let's do let's do that Let's see if I can connect that to that easily. No, it doesn't want to do that. What if I connect it like that? Um, not ideal. Let's try and figure something, something a little bit better out. Like that, and then like that. There we go, that's much better. 
doesn't have to be perfectly straight. That looks quite nice. Okay, let's continue with um, with our journey. So we want to connect it there. So we need a crossing and a turn. That is what we're going to require. So I want to meet this roughly at a 90 degree angle. And then we'll turn and we'll keep turning. And in fact, that is that's it that is what i was looking for so now we have a second line coming in let's see if we can get the third line up and running as well whilst we're at it this is why i didn't want to do a time lapse i think that that building these at least the first build of each one of these is, is quite interesting and uh I, I want to see how naturally this all grows because for example I can I can imagine this eventually branching off this way, joining up along here, and then this somewhat ending up the line that goes to um, uh, Asselborough, just by as a as a very infrequent um, train, just goes there to there every now and then along the freight lines. I, I can just imagine something like that's happening, or this eventually swinging in over here, or this connecting over this way and. It, there's there's a lot that I think could happen, which is why I'm, which is why I'm watching it. How's this looking for? Oh, thank you, Ultra Save. Actually, it gives me a good chance to have a look at this. So we're too short. So I added four, I think, and clearly we're too short. So so it is it is managing, which is which is really good. But we do have it managing. So where should we add this? What was the other one? Over here, right. So for this one, I'm thinking we just add it in. We've got this option here. And then we just go along there. It's a matter of how I'm going to get it into the into the platform. Or we do this, we go along here. It's just past this and then we will have to cut through we're going to have to cut through here along this route and then swing it in. That's the option I've got there. I mean, the direct course, of course, is there to there. That's direct. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I cannot decide this one just yet. So let's use this. Let's, let's do this one as a freight let's do this just just for now and I'm sure we'll figure something out why is that causing a collision let's do it here then oh is it because of the the way the way the slope is let's do it on this side if, if possible um, there that looks good. Right, terminal width, uh, narrow. Terminal type, ground. I, I do like this. Truck, 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 country, entry. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay, okay. So we could do. that no that just looks silly oh i'm going to do this properly let's do this why is it causing collisions there perfect right okay uh connection length ah that might be why it's causing collisions Okay, fine. No. Okay, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Uh, lighting. Well, that's modern lighting, isn't it? Food path connections. 
I'm not sure. But okay. You whatever you want on there. Terminal length 60 50 meters. I really want to stick this here. It just does not want to it does not want to do this. Okay, fine. I'll just stick it here. We'll, we'll have to sort this out. So, if I pop that in there, there you go. Not too far from from there, and this this can all become woodland, you see. So we could just have this in the middle of woodland, and I can I can sort something out, and we could create a. Uh, let me think. Yeah, we'll have a drop off here. So let's create a new line from here to here and this is going to be let's leave that orange for now and we're going to do F R R D uh, con yeah, con forth food processing 001 because it's a road one so it's now 001 for the road so there's that and now let's do a new line and let's do one from here to here this one is going to have to be this yellowy color let's turn that and let's do F R R A con forth food processing processing zero zero two I really should have my keyboard in front of me not off to the side right there we go and we can get we can can we get ah we, we are going to have trouble getting uh trains onto here 20 20 20 20 is plenty that's what they say isn't it on the roads so we get on the road it says 20 is plenty all right now 20 is clearly not plenty Depends on where you want to go. 15, 15. There you go. Okay. I tell you what. Just because I want to do this, because it always looks good when you do this. Miscellaneous track assets. Is it in signs? It isn't in signs, no. I keep forgetting where this is. It's in. Is it one of the. Ooh! That's nice! I didn't know Killer Cans had those. Perfect. There it is. It's that railway one. There we go. What's the speed limit on. on this one? No, that's good. What's that? Transport. Okay. Uh, I've never. I've never used this with the numbers. Cool. Uh, speed 20. Go. So at least you know which one's which. And this is 75 for some weird reason. And on this side, I will stick the 1515. Remember, 1515. There we go. Just little bits of detail going in, which which really make a big big difference okay so now we need a train that is going to be powerful enough to do 40 miles per hour going to and from that farm so let's find one what are these useful Bryson London Bryson South Coast Railway um, no standardized designs it's just a, a tank engine which can do 50 miles per hour but does that look like something that would be used for for freight? This is an express passenger locomotive, so certainly not that. These are just going to be a bit too slow. I, I might just take... And these ones could be useful. There's a tank engine. 31 though. Tender engine. I think we could we could use this. Here we go. Let's use this. 
both freight and passenger. That will do. Uh, let's do that. We can always change the colour if we do not like it. Get rid of this and let's just add in... One, two, three, one... Uh, one, two, one, there we go, two more of them, one, two, three, 84, 96, 108, 114, 120, there we go. Okay, let's see if this helps, and we're going to buy this, I'm not going to use it just yet. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of... Uh, building things and making things. I've actually got some assets now for the UK, UK based assets, so I will be starting to replace some of these if I can find the right period. So at the moment I think they're in the late 1950s, 60s, that kind of era, so we cannot do it right now, but once we get to that era we'll be looking at replacing these things and we are certainly heading, we are going to be heading towards that era. So, 1855 now, of course, of course, I should have, I should have done that. Let's see what that generic one is. Is it one of these? Where is it? Generic British. Oh, it's fine. It's thirty-five. It does not matter in particular. Okay. Now what I need to do is before I. Before I continue, we've got Bracknell food and Carnforth food, which have no, oh sorry, Bracknell food and Macclesfield food, which have nobody on their on their things. So let's go ahead and make uh, ten of these. Let's see what happens. This is probably going to be rather slow, but I'd like to try it anyway. Um, and we're going to send these out. Set line, Bracknell food. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Bracknell food, I'm going to manage the line, and I'm actually going to inf ensure that they wait here until it's full. So we'd like to have full, full cargo because we might as well make them the best use of that. And then, how far away is Macclesfield? Macclesfield's, I suppose. From there they're going there and there, and then from here they're going there and there. It's similar in terms of distance, so I could probably buy another 10 horse-drawn carriages for Macclesfield, I think. Very high maintenance, do that, do that, uh, and send them off on to Macclesfield. Same concept, I think. Let's look at Macclesfield food. Let's ensure that that is manage line uh, full. All right, everybody's going to get stuck now. That's fine, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send and send you off, just so that we can get people coming in and out. Uh, I'm going to send you off. Oh, you're just going around... No, you're not going around in circles. For a second, I thought they were going to go around in circles. I thought, well, that's going to be a problem. I will send... You off. Why didn't you guys come in the other way? Seriously? Alright, and now we're stuck. Round we go. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Oh, there we go. One's out, two's out. There we go. Okay, perfect. That should start clearing things up a little. Right, how are you looking? Yeah, for now, you go. Okay. So this should... This should clear up uh, fairly soon. Yeah, Maxfield food. I'm going to send you a few of you on your way as well. Just so we've got this clear. There we go. Done. Okay. Now that we've got that, obviously we're going to have problems with uh, the amount of food because we're going to have to try and ship more food and therefore we're going to have to produce more food. Um, you can see here that the storage 
We've got 47, 45. It seems okay just for now, but I've got a feeling it's not going to be okay. Um, I've got a feeling it should be okay. For, for now. You see there, 74. I think we're all right. So I'm just going to fast forward this a while. Obviously we want to get the other one running. But it looks like this thing is just about managing. See now that's starting to be full. And the idea here is, of course, as we start getting things in, in and out of Carnforth and in and out of Maxfield and Bracknell where the first lots are arriving, Bracknell requires 32 food so things should, should change over here. Things should start to grow. And once this once everything grows here I will obviously start building up more streets because I want them to to have things built up all the way along here up to here all in here and then once they've done that that that's the idea of trying to control how things how things grow okay how are you looking surprisingly doing okay so what I'm going to do now is we're actually just going to send this one on its way and let's let's take a let's take a journey with this with this particular train oh that's a that's an awesome sounding train right i do like this train yep i already like this train We're not, we're not in the actual... Okay. How do I move up and down on this? I'm not able to do that. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. I've really made a hash of this, haven't I? Find it. Okay. Let's try again. Hey, that, that's pretty awesome. That there is pretty awesome. Like, it's right there. Sand. There we go. And to be completely honest, I kind of want to pause that and make sure I get a get a thumbnail, the right thumbnail here. Uh, thumbnail angle. There and oh, that's a that's a good thumbnail. Get the back of the train in so you can see that it's a rather large train. Do like that as a thumbnail. All right, let's get back on board and uh, actually do what I said we would do, and that is head off to uh, apparently currently Bracknell East. I'm going to have to rename all of these farms. Let's just enjoy what we've got. Along, so long, this is all new railway. I do like the game, the farms are nice. Um, what, I, what I think I need to do is maybe just add like bushes or something along here. And that might look nicer. Instead of this, instead of this, this 
shrubbery um, these hedges maybe just add some bushes and then directly onto a farm might be might be possible you can see uh, one of the transport wagons going over to towards um, Bracknell just across the across the main road there it is there it is is there another one there's another one that's awesome So we're sort of cutting through the forest here. We've got the the other main road, which goes. I have no idea where this goes, but that way is, of course, uh, Carnforth once again. And so we're just going to continue cutting through the forest. We're going to burst through uh, the edge of the forest. We'll have a couple of farms, and we'll be able to see the station uh, up ahead of us. And I love that in the distance. There's loads and loads of trees you can see in the distance as well up on the hill. That looks great. So hopefully everybody is having a lovely Tuesday, um, pottering along the trains. I said it's been rather busy for me the uh, past couple of weeks, so I've not had a chance to do all this time-lapse stuff, but so hopefully you're still enjoying the video. And uh, there we go, out of the forest now, it's climbing a slight hill, slight incline. But that does look really nice, just having farmland all the way around. I think some of the coloured farms do work, the others do not. And here we go, where we have... Nothing? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. No, 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 we, we have something. I saw something. We have some. There we go. Seven. Now I'm wondering if it's worth me making this line, making him wait over here, not there, over here, uh, for up to three minutes. Now eventually we'll do a timetable mod, you see. So with the timetable mod I could have this running, uh, I think it works over an hourly schedule, so I could have this running every 30 minutes or something. So when he gets here, you leave on the hour or on the half on the half hour. But for now, it's just going to do that three minute wait thing, which is the holds that you can have. So you can do a three minute wait, and it's just a hold time. But that I think that's what the the timetable mod incorporates is that it allows you to set a specific time, so it doesn't have to be a three minutes hold. It could be a, a, a two minute hold or a one minute hold, depending on the time it's supposed to depart. I'll add that in once where once things are looking better i think this fits quite well within the station so that's nice so let's go let's go back and uh and see how things are running here oh look at that bracknell food 12. where are you coming from come forth so we are having we are having things being made and processed and i'm assuming these things are waiting for yeah maxfield food so we've got some some waiting there. Maxfield, 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 yeah. Conforth food, oddly enough, not not getting much. There's one. And I would like them to have more, given that it's right here. Because that might help us just, just build things. Oh, look. Uh, an estate agent has popped up. And a pound land coming soon. I like the reflections on that. Wow, that's very reflective. The glass there. 
But perhaps we perhaps we'll have something something build up here. In fact, whilst we are whilst I'm recording this and whilst we're here and I'm apparently clipping, should I do this in this video or the next? I'm just trying to work out whether where I should do this. Um, I want to start getting bus lines running just to see if we can boost boost passenger numbers uh, from the stations and, and enhance the growth because at the moment if you look at this you can see that um, that's zero no where's the uh, line usage oh, where's I knew there was a line usage somewhere um, ah line usage here we go so you can see that there is a 93% usage Macclesfield 0% usage there and 0% usage there so obviously in Macclesfield we're probably getting quite a few people I say quite a few that really isn't a few but if I were to be able to build bus stations over here that would really really help out and that is what I, I kind of intend to intend to do Macclesfield is really growing nicely isn't it 205 currently uh, I want it to grow more on this side if possible. I'd really like it to grow out on this side, not just up here. So I've got to try and force that to happen. Same with Carnforth. I'd like to I'd like it to grow both ways, this side and up this side. But again, the buses might be the way forward. For now, let's just focus on focus on farms. Who are you? Bracknell, lovely. Who are you? Bracknell, lovely. So now we, we should have people waiting for Bracknell as well. Conforth, nothing. That's just poor. So 13, so we should be able to get another uh, three in and out. So there's one and two. There's three, okay. So we are getting a, a more steady chain. And that, that's the important part. I'm trying to get a nice steady chain going back and forth. How are you looking? Not as full as what there was before, what you had before. I and mean, is that because this is taking things? Well, this is still, I mean, this is still delivering or building up. It's, should it not just be waiting here for three minutes and be gone? That's what I said, didn't I? Okay, let's do two minutes and try and figure out what on earth it is that it's trying to do. Well, you keep doing whatever you need to do, it's fine. You're loading up cargo. That that makes sense to me anyway. Right, so you, you'll sit and wait. You're going to have trouble because you've only got one stored and that's, that's a problem. Okay, so something's clearly a little bit imbalanced at the moment, but... That's fine, we will sort that balance out. In time. That that is the the idea behind all of this. Right. Ninety-four out of a hundred, so we need that to match up make a hundred. Uh who are you picking up for? Conforth. Amazingly, it looks like we might need some more trucks going back and forth from Bracknell. That's a surprise. Right, manage vehicle. Let's um do that. Four more. Let's see if four more actually helps clear this a little. So You've got three or four, there you go, that's four or four, so you're okay. Carnforth again is just struggling. Bracknell, what is your... One of 38, that doesn't make any sense. One of four, one of 38. Not helpful, one of seven. Definitely not helpful, but... This should now help. No, you're Carnforth. Why is it they went around this way this time, last time they came around that way? Like that one. Not going to, not going to question it. 
not going to question it. Right, so that's four now. So that's all going to get things delivered whilst these ones are back, coming back. So you can see here, we probably do need a, a, tr a train line somehow. Somehow we'll probably need to connect a train line up there. But so I think at this point, it's probably, this is probably the best time for me to end this particular video. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, should I prepare a, a thumbnail? I'm trying to pre-prepare, pre-prepare? That's not right. I'm just trying to prepare a thumbnail. Here we go. This could, this could work as, a, as another potential thumbnail. It, it may work, may not work. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on transports, Fever 2, the UK series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadget, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I will see you next time in Transport Fever 2, the UK series. And we will see um, just what's happened. So here we've already got 44... I think this is starting to work. 45, 46, 45 still, it's a bit slow. 46, and this can carry what? 108, so we are half full already. That is good. Anyway, as I said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK series where um, I'm just going to try, try to figure something else out. Bus routes. That sounds like a good idea. We'll try and do bus routes. I'll see you then.